The year is 1892, and the land of Ethiopia has been experiencing four years of terrible famine and drought. They call it the Kikuken, or the evil days. At least one third of the human population and 90% of the cattle have died. The hyenas have feasted on so many carcasses that they have become overweight and barely able to move. Just when the people could take no more of the evil days, a woman named Wasiro Yashimebe is giving birth in a place called Ergersa Gora. This is her ninth attempt to bring forth new life. Her previous eight attempts only resulted in death. Will this child live? Thankfully, a healthy baby boy is born. His first cries are drowned by thunder and lightning flashes across the night sky. The heavens open up and torrential rain start to fall. Ethiopia's drought is over, and the baby boy is given the name Tafari, meaning one to be feared or respected. Lich Tafara's father, Ross McCunnan, is a very important man in 1892 Ethiopia. Although he is overjoyed at the birth of his newborn son, he cannot spend much time with him. Ross McCunnan is the governor of Harar and must get back to the famous walled city to deal with its affairs. Furthermore, he is the foreign minister of Ethiopia, and having traveled to different places in Europe, he is very aware of the material and military advances they have made in the looming threats they pose to his country. Ross McCunnan knows that the majority of Ethiopians have no idea what is coming and that he has to work that much harder to secure the realm. Lich Tafari would grow up to become the legendary emperor, Haile Selassie I. To understand his journey, we must first understand the Ethiopia that he was inheriting and what it was like when he was born in 1892. Get your copy of Kwesi Bansu's book, Haile Selassie the First, Ethiopia, Volume 1, The Rise of the Priestly Warrior Kings, and increase your knowledge about the history, politics, and culture of Ethiopia in 1892, and how it connects to the rest of African and world history at the time. Haile Selassie the First, Ethiopia, Volume 1 is available for purchase at www.bookmanexpress.pub. Please visit for more information.